good Saturday morning to you all. Good morning, my Deb Chanel 40s World viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back to the channel. Thank you for the new subscriptions. Thank you for sharing my videos. And thank you for liking my videos. Okay, but we need you to continue to do three, all three. Yes, continue to subscribe, continue to like my videos and share. Share among all, okay? But I'm going to tell you, Atlanta Black Star Kirsten Willis have not the ball out the park. She done hit a home run, y'all. She has hit a home run. The Braves needs her on their team. Okay? The Atlanta Braves need to recruit her and have her on the team. And then we might can win some World Series round here. Okay? Shit. The Atlanta Falcons might need to recruit her too. So they can definitely be known as the Dirty Bird. All right? Because she be making touchdowns as well as hitting home runs with her articles okay now i have to retract on one of my videos that said nene had slapped the phone out of a fan's hand no correction <laughs> i wish i had that little capability that my daughter has and maybe she'll teach it to me one day when we both have time to sit down and really get serious with all of this editing she's a very fanatic perfectionist over there i'm just a straight shooter i get my visuals going on and i go for the gusto okay but like i said i need a computer a new computer i need a microphone and we're going to be designing uh i think her room that we're going to turn into a studio but that's uh coming up for the new year okay i don't have about three more months in this year cause i ain't count september because august getting ready to leave so look for that and new improved videos coming to you soon. And we're also going to be doing a vlogging. Or my, it's on our other channel. Let's talk about it by SNS. Y'all may be familiar with it still, but we hadn't taken on that um, show in a long time because of creative differences. You know, she want to do her thing, I want to do my thing, and we couldn't mesh. Just telling you how it is. Okay, creative differences and mixing family business together can be quite daunting at times. All right, but we still got love for each other. She's doing her thing, I'm doing my thing, and then we're going to come together. We both are fat. We are both a beast. So we're going to try to vlog our journey on losing weight through exercise. That may be tweaked a little here and there, but like I said, uh, I'll give y'all the uh, link of SNS. Let's talk about it if y'all remember it. But once we get it reformulated, and that's going to start uh, probably in a couple of days. Uh, if not in a week, we're going to be vlogging and putting out a video of our daily journey on trying to lose this obese on our body. OK, because it's just weighing us down. We look like two shaman whales running around him. But at least we can clock our own tea and beautiful people. We are beautiful people inside and out. OK, so we just need the body to reflect it. But like I said, it's a daily journey with us. Uh, we're not going over exerting ourselves and trying to take everything away from us, but we're going to be implementing exercise. Because so I think that's the key. Once you get your body revved up and, and, and then you can start fine tuning it, you know, but first we got to hit this exercise thing where we can exercise at least once uh, and skip a day. And, you know, like every other day exercise, if not, we're going to get into the grill of doing it every day. But sometimes you don't want to force yourself to do too much or you'll lose interest and you'll stop. But that was just my little sidebar what's coming up with me and her. So if you like my style, you like her style, just think a complete infusion like a bomb ready to burst. OK, going to come together again on our old channel to so check a look out for that. Our journey on losing this weight and hopefully never finding it or it finding our residence again okay because i'm getting older and it's just too much and i live in an upstairs downstairs home it's too much on the body because i'm like damn why well, i can't have a um what do you call it a master bedroom downstairs because first when i was looking at houses when i was trying to be a homeowner for the first time i was like why that's so weird to have a master's bedroom downstairs it should be upstairs away from everybody but honey you keep living you keep getting older and them bones start creeping and you don't want to get nowhere but close to the kitchen and close to your bedroom <laughs> 
you appreciate the master bedroom being downstairs. Okay, that's all I got to say. This is something you got to experience and you got to learn some things before you can appreciate some better things. Okay, and I didn't appreciate that when I was in my twenties and thirties. Okay, because I was a homeowner. I think at the age of 28 or 29, something to that effect. But it just is what it is, people. But let me get on to this uh, news-breaking article that Kirsten Willis, my friend, she don't know I'm her friend or whatever, and I'm uh, boasting on her and putting out her videos and speaking and giving my twist on it. But y'all go on and check her out at Atlanta Black Star, okay? They employ this nice young, look, nice young lady. I don't know her. I never met her, so don't think I'm just, you know, trying to clout chase her or whatever. Don't know her, but I'm just saying she put out stories I can relate to, and I love it, okay? Again, the article is written by Kirsten Willis. On today, yes, I don't know when it broke or whatever. She's in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. Maybe we'll meet one day. Okay. Um, but she works for Atlanta Black Star, the vlog. Okay. Her story goes, man, she done did her due diligence, her work, her research, and said, I, I Nene is going out there uh, fighting with news reporters. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Pump the brakes. Uh, the brace, okay, her sources that she had, because, you know, people like Atlanta Black Star ain't trying to get sued. They're going to put out real identified uh, mess that a person has done, and they can go back and pull up the receipts, okay? So, they ain't trying to get sued. So, anything they put out, and I put out on them, uh, on their behalf, on my platform, is real. It ain't fake. It ain't fraudulent. It's real. Okay. That's why Nene probably don't call herself trying to hook up with a, a doctor. Because it's very strange that she would go to her OBGYN. Maybe she's just getting a pap and she was just feeling all kind of some kind of way. I don't know. But at 51, I don't think we get paps no more. I don't. I get pelvics. Okay. But, uh, I don't know. She's sexually active, I'm sure. And maybe she have to check all those things up there. But since I had a hysterectomy, I only get pap I mean pelvic exams and they do blood work. I don't have to uh experience with that pap mess no more because it is very disturbing and uncomfortable. That's all I gotta say. If you're a woman, you know you can identify, you know what I'm talking about. Men, you know, you can only go by what the women tell you about it. All right, but it's very uncomfortable, such as the mammograms, and that's another whole story of disappointment. With technology and why they hadn't advanced on stop squeezing our breasts to get these results, whether we got cancer or not, or we normal, you know what I'm saying? Up there in the breast uh, area that men like to suck on and lay on, and you know the babies love to just lay their bodies on because they just like soft like cushions. Okay, soft like pillows. Okay, at least I know mine is. I'm sure y'all don't see them. They are very voluptuous and big and say okay but anyway moving on okay to this story her title headline is oh hell no nene lee slaps phone out of photographer's hand after filming at uh an airport i think this airport was in uh well, shoot i don't know where it was at but as i get into this article i think it was in dc washington dc that's where she was okay but uh yeah i need it on lost her damn mind so yeah you need to be up on your internal medicine doctor you need to be at a psychiatrist you need to be in counseling because this man finna get paid from you okay i don't understand you would have thought with the closet situation filming on Real Housewives of Atlanta, and you putting hands, li literally putting hands, trying to pull the cameraman out of your closet or going towards your closet. Uh, and then, I don't know, because it wasn't on film, but everybody's attesting to it on Real Housewives of Atlanta. There's some rumbles going on upstairs. Some rumbles, some hidden walls, some two flying out folks' mouths, and all of this. And hospitalization stays. <laughs> For minor slash major incidents that they tried to keep out the media. But, you know, we had to know when we got portion canned out there. It's going to leak, honey. It's going to leak because it's a salacious story. It's one with assault. And I'm like, Portia Williams, Portia, 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 where are you, honey? Come to my table. Come to my platform. Get the news. But I'm sure you already done saw it. It's just like Nene calling the pot. You know how to say the cop. Pot calling the kettle black. Yes, you need to go throw this all up in her face because she sure was trying to throw it at, on your face and, and mug you down with humility and disgrace when she was telling you, don't put your hands on nobody. Don't put your hands on nobody. And Portia knew. She knew uh, Nene's get down. 
called Stilo. She does put her ass on people. It's just off camera. And ain't nobody filming. Okay? And even Nene said it herself. That at least I don't get caught. It ain't on camera. Do you have some video coverage of it? Okay. No footage, baby. No, I don't think so. Okay? Play smart, not harder. All right? Woo, girl. But Portia, you need to get on. You need to get on. Huh? Portia Williams calling you to the floor. Yes. Calling you to the floor, Portia Williams. You need to be sizing Nene up. Okay? I'm sure y'all already taped for the season. But maybe we could go back and edit this. Okay? Nene gets rough with a camera. Not a cameraman, but a reporter. Just trying to. It's probably like a TMZ reporter. On spot journalists trying to get some little news here and there, seeing how she's faring and whatnot. I mean, what you have to have a whole newscast up there, like they sitting up there trying to interview Trump on one of his press conferences. You need something like that for you to just stop, listen, make a little uh, commentary here and there, rub a little elbows with the rich and famous people that can do wonders for your career in a positive way. Oh, you got to have one of them bandstands. Oh, no, that wasn't it. Okay, it was just one reporter, one knee knee in an airport, and he trying to get a little story. If it wasn't nothing but a hey, how you doing? Take a little flick with the fan that he was talking about and keep it moving. Now, then he put hands, laid hands, touched hands, slapped him on his hand and put his phone to the ground. Okay, yes, she did. I thought it was a fan, but damn, she going up there hitting reporters. You don't want to hit a reporter? Haven't you seen on TMZ that people get, hey, Kanye West, he was good at taking cameras, taking big, expensive cameras from reporters and throwing it to the ground. And look what happened to him. He was looking at assault charge. Then he had to pay the man for the camera. Got a brand new camera. The camera he probably broke was probably four or five, 12 years old. Okay. Now he had a new one off the man. Then he going to claim mental anguish and all this other stuff. And then I think he slapped him to the ground. He fell when he was trying to get the camera from him. And then that's, that's more money on top of money that you just throwing out here. You could have just gave it to a charity, baby. Anger management. Uh, domestic violence, all of that stuff. I mean, are you really cracking up? Uh, is the medication need to be retweaked? What is going on with you, Nene? What is going? This is a good way of you ending your career by you going out here slamming people against the wall, them missing teeth. Uh, you going around here slamming folks' phones down. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Girl, get a hold of yourself. Take a break. Step back. Don't do it on my social media. Uh, just retire, you know, until the footage come in uh, that we're seeing on a um, weekly basis of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Go incognito, honey. Go to rehab. Do whatever you got to do, but come back to the light. Okay, come back to the light because you don't went to the dark side and you don't stay there. Okay, you don't put up residence. All right, but let's get into what... Um, Kirsten Willis, yes, my girl over there, Atlanta Black Star, okay, has got to say. Now, I read y'all the headlines. We ain't going to go back. We're going to go right on into the story. She wrote, Nene did not seem to want to be bothered talking to anyone other than the person she spoke to on the phone earlier this week, and there's video of the proof. Okay, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star made her way through Ronald Reagan National Airport in Washington, D.C. Tuesday and did not take kindly to being on camera. All right, this one time at NeNe Lee slapped my phone out of my hand, tweeted a D.C.-based celebrity reporter. I mean, I'm sorry, photographer, photographer known as Marky Mark on August the 20th. You see what I'm saying? August the 20th. Oh, Nene Least, Nene Least. Are you checking to see who you assault? <laughs> it ain't an ordinary person that you're going around here laying hands on. But even you can't do that on an ordinary individual, Nene. But you're going to go up there and mess with a celebrity? Photographer? Girl, he finna make your life pure natural hell. Go into hiding, Nene. Go into hiding. And that was my pun intended. Her article just stopped at August 20th. Getting back to her article, it says the footage in question shows Mark filming Lease, who was wearing sunglasses and a white t-shirt, walking down the airport corridor, approaching the photographer. Hey, Nene, how are you doing? He said, your number one fan over there, he says. Immediately after Leeks balances her cell phone between her ear and shoulder to get a free hand, which she used to slap his phone down to the floor. Lord have mercy. Okay, that Lord have mercy is from my uh, perspective, not from uh, Kirsten's article. Going back to Kirsten's article, it says, that's all right, he calls after Leeks 
as he grabbed his phone from off the ground and seemed to call her a vulgar name. I'm sure when they say vulgar, it wasn't pretty. It probably was the garden tools, especially. <laughs> okay. It was probably the O, the itch, the aunt, everything of that nature. Okay. And he had a right to. It wasn't right. He shouldn't have did it, but under the circumstances, he just saw blood red, okay? He wanted to target Nene, but he, he did it professional. Like, I'm going to get you on social media. I'm going to get you in the court system, and then I'm going to relax for a couple of weeks, all right? On you, Miss Leaks. On you. All right, then, that was my pun intended. It stopped after vulgar name. Um, going back to her article, it said the video has since gone viral and many have taken the photographer's side. Well, hell, who wouldn't? Okay, that was me, not in the article. The article reads, she's in a public space or place. She reached out and put her hand on someone who was near her, not in her face. Okay, if she really, if she's really all of that, her entitled pompous ass should be taking that private jet. Personally, I don't see the draw about her. She's just loud and rude. But then she made a little uh, fan that said nasty and rude and that's her claim to fame on the Real Housewives of Bravo. Again, that was my pun intended. It stopped on her part rude. Alright, going back to the article. Wow. Who does she think she is? Maybe there, maybe because this video shows the real Nene and not the skinny Photoshop one she keeps posting. That was a commentary person. Okay, I comment her. All right, going back, it says you can say he was wrong, which maybe he was, maybe he wasn't, but that doesn't give you permission to put your hands on anyone. Speak the truth, girl, speak the truth. And she seems to have a problem with that with her castmates anyway. Then it goes on to say, still, some have come to Leek's defense. Get out of her face with that, okay? I've been pissed too, so if you started recording me without permission when I was on the phone, incredibly presumptuous and rude. Oh, hell no. Too close, sir, and you have to ask before you film. No photos, please. Um, my comment, my sidebar to that. Honey, when you in a fishbowl, you don't claim yourself to fame. You don't self-appoint yourself as HB. I see on your OG show, Bravo, who you profess to have started, garnered support, and now you are the HBIC. Girl, please, like you, like this other person said, you need to be in your own private jet when nobody gets to you. You need to be like Prince, honey. You ain't going to see him unless he wants to be seen. And parts that he don't want you to be seen when he is out, he has an entourage behind him, and they be like cloaked on him, like white on white. You ain't getting no photo. Okay, you're going to get the ass of the, his uh, entourage or the ass of his uh, bodyguards, but you ain't going to get nothing of him. He's going to have an umbrella in your face where you, you're filming the umbrella. You don't see him. That's what I'm talking about on top. And you control the media, not the media control you. But no, Nene is a public figure. She's known for her rudeness and her, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, for lack of a word, better word, she's just up in your face being loud. So, of course, why can't somebody else get up in her face and being loud? She ain't the president. She ain't no uh, high official where you just don't really get close to them. They saying, give me 100 feet or 50 feet. Okay, I prefer the 100, but we go going with 50 feet. That's when you stomp it on something. But Nene is an everyday person who happens to be on a reality show. Okay, that's not like a well top a listed actress or someone who's in a political figure and they, in a sense, demand respect because they are giving respect. Uh, she's in none of those arenas. So, fair target, fair game. And it's like anybody can come up to me in the street and say this, that, and fire. I'm just a you know short YouTuber, pretty much don't have a, a solid base, but I do have a, a nice base, I feel, with active supporters, you know, and it's cool. But, I mean, if you want to talk smack, you're going to have to be out there in your own shit, standing in your own shit, and, 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 and be ready to fight people. And, I mean, defending yourself in my eyes, because, you know, you can go all day verbal with me, and I may... Uh, entertain you for a few, but then I'm gone because I'm ready to put hands on. I ain't got no money for nobody to come bail me out. And they ain't got no money, extra money to try to bail me out, even though I know they would get me out. But then I'm in debt with somebody. You see what I'm saying? Trying to make it right. So no, Nene asked for this. She going to get it. She can dish it out. She better be ready to take it. Okay. But no, Nene, I don't care if anybody 
uh, it, it ain't everybody going to film just any old walk of life Joe. But if they see you uh, walking around at South Carolina Mile, North Lake Mile, Stonecrest Mile, Lenox Mall, uh, the Mall of Georgia, they're going to get out their phones and they're going to try to get a photo op or just hell. They're going to try to film you and put it on their Instagram, social media. Nothing sacred no more because social media is taking over. Everybody got phones. Everybody want to vlog. Everybody want to uh, get their name out there if they're seeking to be in the entertainment field. This is what they do. So, no, that's bullshit. On that commentator, and I call it the way I see it. Spade a spade. All right. Go on back to this article. It said, um, this is not the first time that leaks have been accused of being rude to others at the airport. We know that y'all saw that in my last video. Okay, in May, leaks drew similar criticism when a Facebook user spotted off about a negative experience she had with the Real Housewives of Atlanta Star. Kiana Barr tore into leaks when she claimed the celebrity had been rude. When her friend tried to talk to her, Leeks had been on the phone at the time. Uh, just a sidebar real quick. Yeah, I had that uh, picture photo op in my last previous video. Go check it out. It's titled appropriately, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it in my archives or just on my uh, video feeds uh, of uh, videos I've done on Nene Leaks. And yes... I think Nene don't be talking to nobody, okay? I think she just be holding that phone up to her hand and don't want to be disturbed. Or she just call any old blow Joe she know or blow Jill she know and just, you know, telling them to talk to her while she don't have to be disturbed, you know, by anybody. Like, we're just minions. But, hey, if we decided to say we don't want Nene on the show and we all came and unite. You, a united front, and we just kept saying, take Nene out, take Nene out. Them people would go back to the drawing board and say, you know what, we're going to have to either downgrade you to a friend of the show, or we're going to have to let you go because you're bringing negativity that we don't want for the show because nobody is like even putting an effort into singing your praises anymore. They don't want to see you on this show. And yes, the tides can turn, Nene. You can be off for Real Housewives of Lambs just as quick as you pop down because you're getting too arrogant. You're getting to become like a true narcissist. Like you could do anything and everything and people going to still accept you. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's not how the cookie crumbles. If you keep getting negative press, like putting your hands on folks. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not going to work good in your favor at all. And it's going to get you some jail time. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, uh, that was really rude. You're supposed to be an idol. Bar, Bar told Leeks during the recorded incidents. Leeks demanded Bar stop talking to her. And after telling the star she should be fired, Bar walked away. And it gives a little uh, glimpse on, or they, if you go to Atlanta Black Star under this article that I'm reading from, it actually gives you the footage of Nene slapping the phone out of the photographer's hand. And then y'all can come to your own conclusions, make your own presumptuous assumptions about it, or, you know, talk it over with your friends, start a YouTube channel, put your thoughts on paper, mail it to somebody. <laughs> Just express yourself. That's all I'm saying. If you want to definitely uh, talk about this ridiculousness Nini is doing out there. So, I mean, yes, I might stay under your your physicians, make sure they prescribe a medication, make sure you attend a couple of, if not several, anger management type of uh, seminars or counseling sessions because you need it. Okay, You can't blame everything on Greg and you being his sole uh, caregiver. This has gone beyond that, Nene, beyond that. You need some help. You need some anger management help. I don't know who's coming at you and you just slowly breaking down in front of our eyes into the abyss of nothingness, but you need to straighten up, fly right before you be behind them bars in Atlanta Fulton County Jailhouse or the Cab County, depending on wherever they can reach you, because you can't put hands on nobody. You cannot do that. It's called freedom of press. It's called uh, the First Amendment. Get help on the laws, Nene. Stop putting your hands on people because it's going to be a time where they ain't going to want no payoff. They're going to just want to see some action uh, for your repercussions. Your, your, your negativity you're putting out there and then you're putting physical uh, violence with it, it's going to be a bad ending point for you. So straighten up, fly right, get on the right accord and get yourself some help. Okay, get a rehab, I suggest. 
But that's all I had on the story. I had to come back because, like I said, I had told y'all in my first video I did on her about this incident that she had accosted or attacked a fan. But no, she don't went up the ladder, y'all. She's going up to yonder to be with my Lord. Now, I know I could get that, this. I know y'all didn't know, but yeah, I can cut a, I can cut a rug here and there now. You catch me on the right day, my octaves were acting right. I'm not saying it's congested. Yes, you could get that, girl. You could get that from Dave. I was in the choir. I sure was. I was soprano. Yeah, get the, I like the alto better. And then spark my knowledge of hitting that uh, soprano key for y'all here and there. Yeah, it's got me blushing over here. But anyway, yeah, Nene going up from where she don't want to go. Okay, seriously. But that's all I had. Continue to follow me. Continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share my videos if you prefer. But if you want to keep them all locked up with yourselves, cool. But make sure you tell some friends so they can subscribe to me, okay? And like, 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 like my videos. Okay, but I'll be back. You know I will sometime today giving you something else. But again, check out me and my daughter's journey on SNS. Let's talk about it. Um, we got videos still over there. It's been like a dormant uh, video site. Uh, because we haven't recorded in I don't know how long. Might have been a year. But it's still there. And like I said, we're gonna revamp it and we're gonna uh take y'all along for the journey. Those who want to come and sit in and see what we're doing. We're gonna be, you know, logging in our weights. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be every week or every two weeks. Uh just depends on what we structure, what we can do. And, and we're not ashamed to show. <laughs> Because we don't want people feedback. That's getting a little too personal. But, hey, it's all good. We are a, a good, tough-skinned women. And we take criticism real well. Okay? So, uh, look out for that. We'll put the, uh, what do you call it, the tags in so y'all can catch us. We'll let you know when we start. But y'all be blessed. Y'all have a wonderful, beautiful Saturday. If you live in Atlanta, you know it's hot, but it's beautiful out there. I'm going to have to go shortly out to go grocery shopping. Some of the mundane things I do on the weekend. But I did have a good weekend last weekend. My Some of my folks had came up. We were hitting those around the streets, doing a little uh, we call it sightseeing. We ate at the Varsity. You know, they hadn't ate, eaten at the varsity in I don't know how long. I think they were kids at the time. And of course, I'm 51. My cousins are in their 60s, early 60s. So it was just like a new toy for them. They were just feeling like kids again. So that was real exciting. I plan to be going to Augusta soon, hanging out in their area uh, with mom, letting her get out, let her breathe and, and seeing other new sites around. Uh, well, not Atlanta, but Richmond, Georgia, which is uh, Augusta, Georgia. Um and, and just doing the darn thing because it's all about hanging out with your family, your good friends, uh, and just doing those making uh, memorable memories. Because we're not going to be here on this earth. You know, the Lord come. He give us. He take it away. We're all gifts. So get into it. Um, and that's just what it is. But y'all be blessed. Y'all take care of yourselves. And uh, hopefully I'll be back before six or five to give more videos. But it just... Uh, Depends on what I want to do. I picked up their choir yesterday. When no, it was last week, I'm sorry. Uh, we shopping in the grocery store. We don't go to grocery shopping every week. And I was looking at, you know, when you're checking out, they have these little tabloids. I hear, man, I don't picked up their inquiry. Don't call myself trying to do a few stories. I ain't even um, really got into looking at it to this. Excuse me, this week. So I might be doing a little inquiry, national inquiry stories. I don't care what y'all say. They've been sued before and they ain't liking getting sued. So they putting out pretty much good resources. Good sources have come to them, broke them news stories. And ain't nobody out there trying to defend saying it ain't true. So I take it as a truth. Okay. But we're going to be talking about um, Megan's, you know, she the um, wait, princess over there in uh, Europe. Uh, it's the one that says, fights to end all fights. Megan walks out on Harry. I think it's Harry. Yeah, Harry. And takes the baby with him. That's Archie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're going to see about that because he definitely has been seen by himself at little uh, sport arenas, little events. Yeah. So we're going to check that story out and, and go global. You know, see what we got global happening around the world. See what we can see and so I can talk about it. Because I like to talk about it. You know, I like to talk about it on my, my platform. Okay, some will get with me with it. Some probably won't. It don't matter. But they still come in and check me out here and there. They just don't say now. I know it. I know it. Those are pickaboo people. Go watch Lonnie. What name? Lonnie B. He has an Instagram channel and a YouTube station. Very funny. Very funny man. Um... Uh, and that's all I got to say, y'all. Y'all 
God be blessed. I'll see you soon for something. Bye-bye.